What's up everybody? Terrence here, aka The Poets, my gaming tag. And what we're gonna do today is do some further testing on Threadripper 3970X. Um, my system here, basically it's in the Fantex uh, Enthu Lux 2 uh, case, which they renamed to the 719. Uh, I had a lot of questions in my comments about this case, so I'll do a little deeper dive into that. But basically it's uh, water cooled, being cooled by a lot of parts from EKWB. And I'm gonna be upgrading, hopefully upgrading, the water block here by um, a new block from a company called Optimus. So I'm gonna, gonna, gonna compare the two in a future video to see what gives me pretty much the best um, temperatures overall. So what I'm gonna do with this uh, testing is just run a couple of benchmarks uh, with precision boost uh, on and off uh, because I had a lot of questions on temperatures, um, you know, wattage usage, on that type of stuff. So I'm gonna run uh, Cinebench R15 twice, uh, Cinebench R20 twice, and maybe a, a Blender Classroom or something like that twice. So we can see the differences in speeds, the differences in uh, wattage usage, and um, you know, so you can just kind of get a better idea of what the experience is like using this new third gen Threadripper 3970X. 32 cores, 64 threads, it really is a beast. It's been handling everything I throw at it. Um, and more with tons and tons of room to spare. I have started overclocking it a little bit. It does very, very well. Um, I have gotten it up to 4.4 all core. Uh, so I'll do a separate video on that. I don't want to do any uh, OBS when I'm, when I'm doing that. So waiting to uh, set up my other system so I can just do some video capture while I do that. Again, I'm being lazy, but uh, let's get into the testing. All right, so what we have here is a uh, hardware info and my fluid temps in my water-cooled system here, cooling the 3970X Threadripper, is uh, 29 degrees Celsius. Uh, you'll see with the CPU package, uh, you know, about 94 to 97 watts being used right now, just on idle. And uh, here are all my fans. Uh, my fastest fan is just uh, my primary intake fan. It's a uh, Be Quiet Silent Wings 3, uh, 140 millimeter on the bottom. And then I have a uh, 360 rad up top as an exhaust. It's a thick one, 60 millimeter. Um, a 360 rad on the side, uh, which is 26 millimeter as an uh, exhaust. And then a front uh, 480, uh, 26 millimeter. Uh, so that's a, an intake as well. The pump is also an EKWB. Uh, it's a D5 pump. RGB, of course, and um, it's been this whole system's been running flawlessly and very, very silent. So I, I do highly recommend the Be Quiet Silent Wings three fans. Uh, over here is the Ryzen Master. Uh, this was the control center for AMD processors. Uh, you'll see here it's on default, um, and then in our next runs we'll turn on Precision Boost Overdrive, and we'll see what better scores we get, uh, as well as uh, the you know amount of electricity being used, wattage. Uh, and uh, if it increases fluid temps at all as well. Uh, I like to use Benchmate uh, to pretty much keep things on the you know standard status quo. I'm going to run uh, CPU-Z a couple of times so you can see exactly what's going on with my system. And so you'll see here uh, AMD Ryzen Threadripper 3970X. Right here. Uh, main board is the Gigabyte uh, Aorus Master TRX40 board, obviously. And then for memory, I'm using a G Skill memory, uh, it's 3600 uh, megahertz uh, CL16. Um, very good memory. Uh, it's, this is obviously XMP settings. And so let's close all that out. And the first one we're going to do is uh, Cinebench R15. And so I'm going to run this twice. Let's uh, minimize that a bit so you can see what's going on. Just kind of, boom, pops right up. So 78.06 is our first run. And 77.55, second run. So we'll close that out, and now we'll run uh, Cinebench R20. Now I am using uh, OBS on this system. I don't have my uh, second PC set up, as I said before, uh, for streaming, but uh, results are not going to be too far off anyway. So hit 
that run button. And this just never gets old to see how quickly this runs. So this 32 cores, 64 threads, definitely uh, is a beast. So 17620, let's just run it a second time for a good measure. And I just love how uh, all those cores are being used at 100%. You'll see that water or fluid temps should jump up to uh, 30 degrees. Not a huge jump, obviously. And that C CPU package power did go as high as uh, 404. So the score, 17597. And so we'll close out of this. And next we're going to run um, the uh, Blender uh, benchmark instead of like Classroom or um, the BMW uh, separately. Uh, let's just go ahead and run this and I'll kind of fast forward in the video so that you don't have to sit through the entire thing. All right, so a score of four minutes, 13 seconds for the Blender benchmark is uh, not too shabby at all, especially when my 8700K overclocked at like 5.4 gigahertz um, with AVX off. Um, we do it in like 19 minutes. So that's a huge, huge increase. You'll see the uh, fluid temps did go up a bit, 33 degrees Celsius. Uh, the CPU package power, you know, maxed out at 404 watts. Um, and then, you know, overall the temps for the CPU are amazing. Um, so the, uh, the max for the 3970X is actually 95 degrees Celsius. So yeah, plenty of room. Uh, VRMs, 77 degrees, hey, I'm very happy with that uh, for this uh, Gigabyte Horse Master motherboard. So what I'm going to do now is uh, reboot so we can do this fresh with uh, Precision Boost Overdrive on. Alright, so the system is rebooting here and we had really impressive scores with just stock settings. Uh, Cinebench R15, 7,806 points was the high. R20 was 17,620 points was the high. And the Bender, or Blender benchmark uh, was a runtime of 4 minutes, 13 seconds. I, I love that because my 8700K, like I said, was doing it at 19 minutes and change, uh, overclocked to 5.4 gigahertz. So um, this run now, we're going to get it going on a Precision Boost Overdrive and see what differences it makes, see if the wattages uh, actually do go up. Uh, the all core, you know, should obviously be higher. Uh, you saw that in this uh, run, it was all around four gigahertz. Um, it's a couple of cores at 4.1 uh, with the stock setting. Um, so let's run it. All right, so this is our second run. Well, you're gonna see uh, Precision Boost Overdrive is now enabled. <clears throat> and I'm gonna just run some of these again so you can get refreshed on the system settings. So you see here, obviously, Threadripper 3970X. RAM is still the same, 3600. And motherboard, TRX uh, 40, Horus Master, like Gigabyte. So let's close some of these out. And first we're going to run Cinebench R15. This is with uh, Precision Boost Overdrive on. Thousand seven hundred fifty-five. So now we're at seven thousand seven hundred ninety-three. So let's run it a second time. Yeah, uh, you may not see much of a difference. And actually, seven seven four four. So we actually uh, were a bit slower on both runs uh, with uh, PBO on uh, for Cinebench R15. Very interesting. Uh, I do have OBS running, uh, but everything is still the same from last time. So let's run R20. All right. It runs. 
questions. So for R20, we had uh, our high as 17.620. And our second run was uh, 17.597. Seriously, this never gets old seeing how fast this runs. So this run was uh, 17.658, uh, where our high was uh, 17.620 uh, on stock settings. And our wattage pole is the same, uh, about 406 watts. Now you'll see that on all core over here, this is a bit higher. Uh, these are about 4.1 being utilized and 17,496. So there really wasn't much of a difference uh, with these, uh, with the PBO on or off. So now we're going to run uh, the Blender uh, benchmark and see if there's anything uh, different with this. So we're just going to do the CPU, quick benchmark. And I will uh, fast forward through this so that you don't have to sit through the full uh, roughly four minutes for how long this takes. All right, so there we have it. Um, very interesting results in terms of stock versus PBO. There really wasn't much of a difference. I'd say it's within you know statistical variance, as Steve from Gam Gamers Nexus would say, um, within error. The, uh, you know, both runs of uh, Blender Benchmark being exactly 4 minutes 13 seconds was surprising to me. Now, the, the thing is, we're using this Ryzen Master uh, software. Whenever I'm overclocking, I definitely always try to use um, the BIOS. So, uh, my next uh, video, I'll probably do some overclocking, obviously in the BIOS, instead of using Ry Ryzen Master. You can activate and deactivate PBO within the BIOS as well. So we're gonna see if uh, that makes a big difference as well. You know, a lot of times BIOS settings trump any type of software settings uh, that you initiate, and sometimes there's conflicts as well. I'm wondering if that's a conflict I'm having, where whatever I have set to the BIOS, and I'm not gonna give any spoilers, you have to like and subscribe to find that out. Uh, but with uh, Ryzen Master, hey, we're getting very similar scores. So stock uh, for R15 was 7806, and with PBO was 7793. And statistically, those are basically the same. And in terms of any production work you're doing, you're not gonna see any difference whatsoever. Uh, for R20, uh, stock was 17620 was the high, and the high for PBO was 17658. Again, within statistical variance um, or within error. So uh, this was an interesting run. Um, I'm gonna do more of this. If you have uh, other benchmarks you want me to run with this Ryzen uh, third gen Threadripper 3970X, I'm happy to do it. This is a lot of fun for me. I'm also going to be at CES, so definitely subscribe so that you can see uh, whatever I find very interesting. Um, it may not be the, the best and brightest that AMD has offered. There's gonna be tons of videos on this. This is gonna be something that I think is gonna be interesting that could add some balance uh, to your life, you know? So uh, this Threadripper, it's making my video editing uh, so much easier than uh, when I was editing on an 8700K. When it comes to just scrubbing footage, I use DaVinci Resolve. I'm, I'm falling in love with DaVinci Resolve. I'm actually gonna be using DaVinci Resolve on my uh, Surface Laptop 3 here. And there's certain settings where you can really do 4K video editing uh, in DaVinci Resolve on a laptop like this that doesn't have a, a true dedicated you know, GPU, NVIDIA, whatever inside of it. So I'm really happy with that software too. But one day I'm gonna do a uh, kind of a side-by-side -side in terms of maybe just rendering a video and scrubbing through a video of the uh, Microsoft Surface Laptop 3 and the Threadripper uh, 3970X. It is a night and day difference, but you know, when you're on the go, hey, that's, uh, you gotta do what you gotta do. So uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, hope you liked it. Uh, please, you know, hit that like button. Uh, please subscribe, uh, grow on this channel, and uh, looking forward to see us in Vegas. So I'll talk to you in the next one. And as always, you know, find your balance in life. This is one of mine. Peace.